أهواك Welcome to the Cultural Diversity and Inclusion Day celebration. My name is Zore Rezazadeh, the president of UNESCO Body and Mind Wellness Club, or UNESCO BMW. Today's celebration is among the main goals of our UNESCO club, which is to bring forth global peace through the universality of music, art, and culture. For your information, this program is recorded. For any communication with us during the program, please raise your hand or write in the chat box. At the end of the program, we will open your mics for some live feedback and discussion. Today's program is done in collaboration with the Inner Peace Day France and its president, Anaïk. We may also have some language translation offered by our moderators. Hi, dear Anaïk. Can you Hello. please briefly talk about yourself and Inner Peace Day France, as well as some explanation about the program today? Thank you. The floor is yours, Anaïk. Go ahead. So, hello, everybody. I am here with Sandra. Hello, everyone. She's a student. She's a learning uh, science, medical science, we could say. And she's also a volunteer of our association. So we wanted to show you the video that we did in Lebanon. It's a young uh, man who did it, Hugo Boué who is also part of our association, because we feel it re really explains what is Inner Peace Day for us. It's a combination of uh, joy and friendship between the volunteers beforehand. And then when we have this confidence with, between ourselves, we can go 
and go to school and give this feeling to the others. Je donne à ce voix bas. Tu travailles un peu en français? Quand Inner Peace a été bien transcrit par la vidéo que vous venez de voir à l'instant d'Inner Peace au Liban, c'est d'abord une expérience que nous vivons entre nous de d'amitié et de collectivité entre les volontaires. Et si nous avons ce sentiment, nous pouvons ensuite le transmettre lors des sessions dans les écoles. So, how does it work, really? Ça fonctionne comment, exactement? So, it, it works because we do a kind of meditation and in this meditation, we feel a, a kind of peace within the silence. Ça fonctionne à travers la méditation. À travers la méditation, nous sentons une forme de paix, de silence. And in this peace, we can really feel together and because of this feeling of inner peace, we can talk and, and create things with others without conflict. And that is what we go, why we go to schools and that is what we offer to the children. Et dans ce sentiment de paix, nous pouvons aller vers les autres et c'est comme ça que nous transmettons à travers la méditation cette expérience aux enfants dans les écoles. So now could we have the video of uh, Chin Mai? Et tout de suite la vidéo de Chin Mai.
Magnifique chanson. Dans cette chanson, Chine Maillé nous dit que comme nous ne rêvons pas en noir et blanc, mais en couleur, il est dommage de ne pas n'être que en noir et blanc. Chine Maillé est 16. Elle est playing violin depuis about 10 ans. And uh, she has uh, recorded other songs and she's a composer and also uh, she's writing the lyrics and she's a French, but she sings in English. So thank you very much, Chinvan, Chinmaye. Chinmaye has 16 ans, elle est française et elle compose ses chansons. And uh, now we will welcome Finba, uh, which is a singer, songwriter from Villamba, Irish folk and rock band. Maintenant, nous accueillons Finbar, qui joue de la musique celtique, euh, bien qu'il soit anglais. Et donc, euh, nous avons le privilège d'avoir euh, Finbar en concert, en direct d'Italie. Maintenant, nous accueillons Finbar, qui joue de la In musique celtique. Merci. Yes. Do you, can we yes. get connected to Finba? The group is named Vilamba. Le groupe s'appelle Vilamba et Finba va nous jouer sa chanson. Vas-y, parle de lui en ancien. Donc, ah, ok. Hey. Hello. Can you hear us, Finba? Do you hear us? Uh, we don't. We cannot hear. Ah, uh, sorry. It's uh, now it's unmute. Hello. Hello. So, what is the song that you will be playing now? We're going to sing Thin King. Ah, great. Mm -hmm. Il va jouer une chanson qui s'appelle Thinking. Pensez. Yeah. Outlooks with me studies and no talk to joys we have. I argued with me mother, because says my friends are mad. I've got a pimple on my nose, it will not go away. And I tell you that I'm feeling fine, but I'm really not okay. Got a buzzing in my head now, and it won't leave me alone. Thank you. 
There's a hundred million problems that are pressing on my mind. I prioritize and delegate, but I never have the time. I got a hopeless non-assistant, and my boss, he doesn't care. And I'm slowly being strangled by a deadline that's unfair, that's unfair. My team's at home on Saturday, and I want to wash the car. I'd like to go to France, but I don't think she'll get that far. I promised a good restaurant on our anniversary night. And I can't afford a present, but some flowers should do right, should do right. One, two, three, four! La 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 These thoughts are running through my head. These thoughts are running through my head. Merci, merci, thank you. Vilma, can I ask you a question? Uh, why did you choose this song to play tonight? Uh, because it's it's about thinking, it's about all the thoughts that are in our heads, the thoughts of a teenager, the thoughts of a mother, the thoughts of a father, all the worrying all the time when we really should be, we should try to get a bit of silence in the head and just go la 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 la, we'd be much happier. En fait, Finbar a choisi cette chanson parce que on a beaucoup de pensées dans la tête, souvent on a des ennuis et on oublie de profiter de la vie et quand on chante la 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 la, en fait on se sent mieux. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Finba. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. And now we will welcome Fatih Zent, who play flute bansuri, Turkey. Ah, Fatih. Il joue de la flute. Il est de Turquie. Can we be uh, talking to you, Fatih? Hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Merci. So please, can you tell us why you wanted to be part of this project about peace and diversity? Dites-nous pourquoi vous vouliez faire part de, partie de ce projet. Okay, so uh, thank you for having me here. And uh, in these events of... Uh, Gathering, being with the other musicians, it really feels uh, that I'm more connected to the world and I'm not alone. And uh, the, the, the sensation, the feelings that I get from the others and uh, working on something collectively, it feels really uh, I am more connected and I feel really I am peaceful mm -hmm. and I'm not alone. And... Uh, I'm part of one one piece and part of parcel and it it really feels amazing to be a part and and I and also I can showcase my feelings and my uh, my emotions through the music so it's uh, it's a great place and it's a great event to be part and thank you okay so you mean that collectivity helps you You mean that if you feel like you are part of something, you feel better and more peaceful. Si vous sentez que vous êtes part d'une collectivité, vous vous ressentez après plus en paix. Yes, I uh, I feel that uh, I can do my music by myself, but if I can showcase and if I can get some response from the others I, I can feel the joy and I can feel the results of my art and uh, so it it so we are uh, 
practicing for years and we are spending hours and but uh, it is only for the mo moment to see that someone is enjoying by your music and someone is feeling uh, silent someone is feeling feeling peace that's that's the moment that we as uh, art artists or musicians and uh, people feel that our work is really paid off at the end of the day so that's my purpose and that's that's how i feel and that's why my motivation to make music and to practice uh, hours and hours sometimes yeah alors en fait euh, Fatih, il a vraiment besoin de sentir la réaction du public c'est comme ça qu'il se sent bien il se sent récompensé de ses heures de travail et en fait c'est dans cette union de, de paix entre les personnes qu'il trouve vraiment euh, son bonheur what is the title of your song of your music please Okay, so uh, today I want to I wanted to do something different, and uh, our uh, our uh, friend played a music and said that uh, it can bring some silence in our thinking. So I want to improvise with my instrument, and uh, I want to improvise. It is it is it is, it is as it is coming to me. There is no limitation. There is no. Um, Uh, set of rules or something so that maybe you can feel the silent and maybe you can feel joy and you can enjoy with me okay thank you so please okay cette chanson est une improvisation et nous allons entendre tout de suite toujours Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we will go to Norway to hear Stenta Cecily group. De... Maintenant, nous allons en Norvège écouter 
une chanson du groupe Santa Cecilie de leur nouvel album Home from their new album Home Hey <laughs>
Hello, Santa Cecily. Can you hear us? We can hear you. On va pas. We can see you. Can you hear us? It's, yes, Cecily. <laughs> but I uh, come and I disappear from the screen. It's very strange. <laughs> okay, shall we take on the camera? Yes, you can. But yes, you have please. to do it. You have to do it. Okay. Let's, uh, please, technical team, can you yeah. share the screen? No. <laughs> hey. Great. Hello. We are very happy that you choose this program to present your last album and this song, Home. And can you, you tell us why you, in, you came to this program? Uh, it's because I have uh, something on my heart and... Uh, I feel that uh, the song we play, Home, is about uh, the home uh, is inside, it's not outside. And uh, uh, it's like we are united on the inside. And uh, yeah. So we yeah. will have to translate a bit in French, if you don't mind. It's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Donc, euh, Cécile nous dit qu'elle a choisi cette euh, chanson parce qu'elle parle de Home, qui est la maison qui nous connecte tous ensemble. À partir du cœur. À partir du cœur. Donc, elle pense qu'on est ensemble dans le cœur. And uh, what would you say uh, to help us to be more peaceful or be united? Uh, you could... Can... We can all go inside, and if we go inside and meditate, we can actually create peace on this planet. And uh, uh, we can change this world by just meditating together and uh, feel the oneness. Because if we can feel the oneness inside, then we cannot hurt other people, because then we are hurting ourselves. La manière d'être en paix et d'aller à l'intérieur à travers la méditation, nous pouvons ainsi sentir l'unité et refléter à l'extérieur. Par cette méditation intérieure, on devient vraiment soi-même la paix et on peut transmettre la paix dans le monde. Donc c'est par nous-mêmes qu'on peut changer les choses et en méditant ensemble aussi, on devient comme un, un grand groupe collectif. As for example, this uh, war that's going on, on in Ukraine, like this video, I feel uh, that if we had knew, knew each other, if we had known each other, then the situation in this world would have changed, especially those leaders who create this situation in this world. If they knew who they are, then the situation would be different. I believe. <laughs> Translate. Les situations dans le monde, quel que soit les cas, euh, peuvent changer si nous savons euh, qui nous sommes à l'intérieur de nous et si nous reflétons cette paix. En fait, la guerre montre que les gens ne se connaissent pas à l'intérieur. Ils ne savent pas qui ils sont. Car Cécile pense que si les gens se connaissaient, ils se rendraient compte qu'en attaquant les autres, c'est eux-mêmes qu'ils attaquent. I just have to say something that I'm not a politician or I'm just a simple woman. I'm a simple artist, just spreading, feeling, spreading the love from my heart, expressing the love. That's all. Euh, Cécile dit que ce n'est pas une politicienne, c'est juste une artiste qui exprime l'amour qu'elle a dans son cœur. Elle le fait comme une femme simple et vraiment avec sincérité. Et elle n'a pas d'autre message, elle n'est pas politicienne. Donc, c'est vraiment de son cœur. Vraiment, merci beaucoup. Vous voudriez dire quelque chose Oui, thank you very much. Would you like to add something Maybe, Ketil, would you like to say something I would just say that I think culture uh, in general uh, is our hope. In Norway, we have a project called Color uh, Play, which is about 
children from different generations creating art together with their own uh, with their own culture and together it's it becomes so beautiful and there is only a peace and it's so heartfelt and I believe that culture is the solution when it comes to to solving a lot of the problems we have in the world use the culture that's our best vehicle for peace and for love to towards each other thank you people you are wonderful Anna Ike and Sandra nous avons aussi un autre projet avec les enfants où ils peignent et jouent ensemble créer une collectivité et c'est un c'est ce que Ketil a ajouté il a ajouté aussi que la culture est vraiment un moyen d'unir les êtres et que ce mélange de cultures, c'est une façon de se respecter, de créer quelque chose de, de beau et d'artistique. Il nous remercie beaucoup et vraiment nous aussi. Voilà. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. Now we will uh, have next item. So this is uh, Carlos Gizzi. Vas-y. Maintenant, nous allons accueillir Carlo Gizzi qui est un pianiste italien. He's an Italian pianist and he's a composer too. He can play improvisation as well as uh, reading uh, um, music. Il, uh, il compose et il joue uh, en même temps des compositions classiques et modernes au piano. Let's go. Et tu coupes nous la deux secondes. Hi, my name is Carlo. I'm going to perform uh, an improvisation on a musical stream of mine that is called Circa. Thank you. 
Really nice. Thank, Thank you, you, Carlo. Welcome to our sitting room. <laughs> yes. Bienvenue dans notre salon. It's more cozy now. C'est plus confortable. So now we will ask. Ah, who is there? there? Carlo. Hey, what a surprise! Hello. Hello. Oh, how do you feel to be there with us? Fine, you. Very good. Avec nous aujourd'hui. Oh, we are very happy to have you. <laughs> so, can you tell <laughs> us why, okay. why you are in this program and what you want to share? Pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi vous êtes dans ce programme et que vous voulez vous partager? Yeah, um, uh, for me, what is important is the sharing, the sharing of um, the high feelings we can have the highest feelings we can have, we can share. And I think it is in, this is important for uh, us as artists to, to give always something better. So this is the best I can, I can give. So this occasion has been really, for me, really very nice, very good in order to, 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 to give the best piece music I can do. Pour moi, c'est très important d'être là en tant qu'artiste, de partager le meilleur des sentiments forts. Et c'est un. Le... J'ai pu donner par cette présentation voilà, le meilleur et quelque chose de très positif. Voilà, il pense que donner le meilleur de lui-même, c'est vraiment une façon de faire le meilleur cadeau. Et pour lui, c'est une façon d'exprimer la paix. So, for you. To give these highest feelings is a way to give a present to your audience and exactly. peace, right? Right, exactly, exactly that. Exactly that. And a circle, uh, that, that is the name of the composition, um, means exactly that. Something that you give and you receive. You give, you receive in a circle. So in a constant um, contribution and sharing exactly. each other. Et le nom de cette composition, Circle, veut dire cercle, et ce sentiment de donner et de recevoir, l'échange. En fait, plus on donne, plus on reçoit. The more you give, the more you receive, right? Exactly that, yes. Oui, exactement. So, do you want to add something for us? Voulez-vous ajouter quelque chose pour nous? No, I think uh, it's fine. Hope you like it. We enjoy very much. So we felt satisfied too because you were satisfied, obviously. Nous étions satisfaits. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. 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 And now we will welcome Bam Siege, which, which is an African singer from Ivory Coast. Hello. We would like to talk a bit about him before. Nous allons recevoir Bamset, qui est de Côte d'Ivoire. Et on voudrait pouvoir un tout petit peu l'introduire. Donc, il fait de la musique depuis longtemps pour exprimer la paix qu'il a en lui et l'amour des autres. Il compose musique depuis un long temps pour exprimer la paix et l'amour des autres. Pour lui, c'est très important. So that's why his next song is about respecting your neighbor as yourself. Pour lui, c'est très important. Et c'est pourquoi la nouvelle chanson qui est introduite est de respecter les voisins comme nous-mêmes. In fact, he says, if you knew who are the next person, your neighbor, if you really understood that, you would not behave in a bad way. En effet, si vous connaissez vos voisins et qu'ils sont vraiment vous, comme vous-même, vous ne vous comporterez pas d'une mauvaise manière. Il dit aussi que le soleil est comme ça, il brille pour tout le monde. 
My heart is the same. It's open for everyone. Il dit aussi que le soleil brille pour tous et comme mon cœur est ouvert et brille pour tout le monde. So in Ivory Coast, they speak French. So the song is in French. And there are a few words in the middle which are in African. En Côte d'Ivoire, on parle français. Donc dans cette chanson, il chante en français et il y a quelques mots au milieu qui seront en ivoirien. And those small words are very uh, innocent words. They are like, let's go and have it. You know the words that you can listen to in the schoolyards from the children. Et les mots de cette chanson sont très innocents. Euh, nous pouvons avoir, allons-y, et des mots que nous pouvons entendre dans des cours de récré par les enfants. So there will be two musicians with him, younger ones, and the singer Emanuela, unfortunately, was in Canada, so she's not on the video. Il y aura deux autres chanteurs avec lui, et euh, malheureusement, Emanuela ne pourrait pas une des chanteuses ne pourrait pas être dans cette vidéo car elle est au Canada. So let's have Bonsé now. Thank you. Maintenant, Bonsé, <laughs> écoutons son œuvre. Merci. Coucou, je m'appelle Bonsé, Bamba Seydou à l'état civil. Je suis auteur-compositeur et j'ai au moins trois albums. Je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire et en Côte d'Ivoire, nous avons plusieurs ethnies. Nous avons 60 ethnies et nous avons aussi des différentes cultures. les sénéphos, les guéris, les gourous. Et lorsqu'il y a un problème, on prend un allié simplement pour venir demander pardon et puis les histoires cessent. Nous en avons au moins une cinquantaine. Donc c'est ça qui fait la grâce aussi de la Côte d'Ivoire. Alors on vous invite à venir en Côte d'Ivoire dans ce beau pays. Mon ami fait attention à tes pensées à tout ce que tu pourras comme à deux. Ce que tu fais en bien ou à mal Se retourner un jour contre toi-même Si tu savais ce que ça que gagné Tu n'aurais jamais fait du mal à ton prochain L'amour et soleil ne se fatiguent jamais Ils éclairent mon cœur sans faire la différence Si tu savais ce que c'est que l'amour L'amour et soleil ne se fatigue jamais Les éclairs marquent sans faire la différence L'amour est la paix de toute vie Il ouvre la porte à tout succès Et si tu refuses de t'alimenter Tu souffriras toute ta vie Si tu savais 
Merci beaucoup. Nous avons dansé derrière nos écrans. Thank you very much. We really dance, you know, while listening to you, Bonse. Thank you very much. So now we will talk about another artist from Ivory Coast. He's a dancer. He's dancing since his childhood. Maintenant, nous allons parler d'un nouvel artiste de Côte d'Ivoire qui danse depuis son enfance. So he has, uh, of course, studied classical, traditional African dance. Il a étudié la musique traditionnelle africaine. Et la danse. But also modern jazz. Et aussi le modern jazz. And he's doing a kind of fusion. Et il fait une sorte de fusion des deux. He's a dance uh, teacher and now he's teaching in Morocco. Il est prof de danse. Et actuellement, il enseigne au Maroc. So please be very careful because his video is only 45 seconds. It goes very fast. So please be attentive. Oui, soyez très attentive. Cette musique est très rapide. Elle dure seulement 14 secondes. Tout de suite, bosse et beau. Now, let's see bosse et beau. C'est pas 14 secondes, hein, c'est 45. Thank you, Bosebo. You are so talented. Thank you very much. Merci, Bosebo. Vous êtes très talentueux. Merci beaucoup. And now, Guido Di Lorenzi is a guitar and vina player, an Indian instrument, and he's from Italy. He began playing classical music at the age of 40. Maintenant, nous allons écouter Guido Di Lorenzi. C'est un joueur italien de guitare et de vina. Il a commencé très tôt la musique. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, ah, he's there. Hello, Guido. Hello, hello, dear, dear friends. Hello, hello, Anaïk and Sandra. Hello. It's a very pleasure to stay with you. C'est un grand plaisir uh, d'être avec vous. Good afternoon. I... I wish to present the performance, no? I thank on behalf 
of the other members, Hamid and Reza. And uh, UNESCO who wish to include our musical proposal within its prestigious event dedicated to cultural, to cultural diversity. And we, can we have just a little space for French? Yes, we would like to translate what you ah, say. Yes, yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Je souhaitais présenter mon œuvre avant qu'elle passe à l'écran. Je suis très honorée de participer à cet événement en l'honneur de la culture de la diversité. OK, please. I thank all the organizers and in particular the president Zore Rezazada and Mrs. Salaik uh, for having involved and supported us every moment until the realization of this project. Je remercie l'organisatrice Zorer et Anaïque. tous les participants de ce projet, Anaïk. Um, personally, I have been practicing Sahaja Yoga from 20 years and I have learned to let myself be guided by the vibrations of Mother Kundalini energy in various Excuse me. aspects of my life. From Guido, from Guido, yes, this is a secular program. Yes. And we would like to know why you want to play this music now for peace and diversity, cultural ah, well. diversity. This is our main uh, project. Well, well. Uh, well so, so this is only for enriching all of us with a new light and genuine vitality. C'est un programme Thanks secular. Again. Nous voulons savoir pourquoi vous avez voulu présenter ce, cette œuvre pour la paix. Il a dit que c'est pour... Euh, donc Guido répond que c'est pour euh, euh, l'enrichissement et la, la paix qu'il a choisi cette œuvre. Thank you. So now we would like to listen to your music. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Maintenant, nous allons écouter votre musique. Extrait. Salam. Salam, presentiamo un Bajan insieme a Hamid e Reza, Maya Terecharano Ki. Thank you. 
ты шла по ссылке, по вот этой вот. Я не знаю, как это. Из какого это было? Почему? Ну, вам это понятно. У меня это с трех часов уже не было. Ну, ты вот так ты вы. Если у тебя получалось сразу выходить, то Thank you, Guido. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, you. Guido. The musician. Now. Merci. Yes, thank you to all of you for uh, for this opportunity for express this art. Oh, thank you. Yes. And your suggestions and everything. Okay. Bye bye. Thank, thank you very bye -bye. much. Bye so bye. Now bye -bye. we will uh, welcome. Sorry Marie for Joel. my pure uh, English. <laughs> It's no okay. problem. Our English is not that good too. <laughs> Pardon pour mon anglais, il a dit. Au revoir, Guido. Donc, now we will welcome Marie-Joëlle Clarice and her husband, Kenny, from Belgium. Hello, Marie-Joëlle. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. perfectly. We can okay, see. Okay, great. <laughs> Could you please introduce us your song? Yeah, my song is called um, Come to Me. Um, me and my husband Kenny recently wrote it. It is uh, actually, well, it was, it was existing for a longer time, but we specifically created it to, to release it again in this, um, in this special time, you know? when uh, everyone is really longing for more new unity and for more connection. And um, that's why we made a special edition. And um, so we both co-wrote the song. And it's about, well, it's, it's about how we can feel isolated sometimes and how we long for being connected, how there can be a, a feeling of a division. But when you go deep within, there's always a voice telling you, come to me, come to me. It is, everyone is here, you know, everyone is okay. here. Okay, <laughs> thank you. We want to translate it into French now. Okay, great. Donc cette chanson veut dire, viens à moi. Elle parle du sentiment d'être isolé qui peut provenir de temps en temps et elle a pour but de nous réunir. Voilà. Donc c'est une chanson que... Euh, Marie-Joël a écrit avec Kenny il y a un certain temps, mais en fait, ils l'ont remixé, refondé un peu pour cette époque spéciale où ils sentent que les gens ont besoin d'unité. So, is it why, because you say come to me, because you need yourself unity with people, is it why you are happy to join this program? Yes, definitely. And also because there's so it offers so much diversity, you know, I, I'm already because of this program, I'm meeting so many new people, you know, <laughs> there's so many musicians uh, joining, you know, and, it, and, and to me, it's just amazing to see like from Africa, from from Turkey, from everywhere. And I'm so glad to meet everyone and also to see that, you know, people are connecting through music. Uh Là, il me demandait est-ce que c'est pour ça que vous avez choisi cette chanson Come to Me est-ce euh, viens voir moi est-ce que c'est parce que euh, vous avez besoin de d'union euh, et euh, Marie Joël répondait que oui et c'est euh, très euh, c'est exceptionnel pour elle de voir tous ces artistes 
du monde entier euh, se rejoindre aujourd'hui pour cet événement. So then for you to discover other people, it's a way for you to get joy and then to feel peace inside, right? Yes, definitely. So it always gives me peace to see how people um, express their creations and how they just enjoy uh, making music, but also um, make other people enjoy, you know, and that is Beautiful. so special that we can do that, all of us. And I, I also think that it's not something that is only meant for um, like professional musicians or artists, but everyone can do that and everyone really should do that. So I'm also, I also want to tell people like, just express your creativity and it helps. It really helps to connect and to go within. Oui, exactement. C'est très important euh, de pouvoir euh, transmettre à travers la musique. Et ce n'est pas seulement un travail que peuvent faire des professionnels, mais tout le monde, tout le monde pourrait euh, jouer ou exprimer sa créativité d'une certaine manière. So exactly, with Inner Peace Day, we try to express our creativity that comes from inside. So we are very happy that you, you will... Uh, also play in that direction because we also want people to find this inside everybody not only artists oui avec inner peace c'est aussi ça le message de que tout le monde puisse exprimer sa créativité Merci. so now so we now... would like to listen to your music thank you thank <laughs> enjoy you. merci thank you. pardon So 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Now we will have the meditation. Et nous entend? Tiens, tu les as remis le son? Et la oui, vidéo? Voilà. Voilà. <rire> oui, alors, euh, bonsoir à tous. Hein. Luc, euh, Anaï, tu es toujours là. Je te rejoins, Anaï, pour euh, cette séance de méditation que nous allons commencer. Alors. Hello, everyone. So now we will start the meditation that we do within Office Day. Alors, nous allons nous asseoir confortablement, les deux pieds écartés. So now we will sit comfortably and put both feet apart. If we sit on a chair, we put the feet on the ground, or we can also sit on the floor. Alors, nous allons, avant de commencer, faire une petite, un petit exercice de respiration. So now we will start an exercise with breathing. Donc, nous allons bien respirer à travers les narines et expirer à travers la bouche, souffler après. Donc, on va commencer, on peut fermer les yeux. Et notre... So, we will inspire with the nose and breath out, expire with the mouth. Voilà, nous allons... We will do that a little bit. So, please now, close your eyes. Nous allons faire l'exercice trois fois. On we sait. will do this three times together. Inspire. Première fois. Hold a little bit voilà. and then expire. Voilà. Souffle. Une deuxième fois. Second voilà. time. Inspire. Encore. Une Once fois. more, voilà. inspire. inspire, hold down a bit, expire. Alors maintenant, nous allons mettre la main droite en bas du ventre. Now we will take the right hand and put it on the lower part of the abdomen. Just below the navel. Et là, nous allons sentir les qualités intérieures. La respiration. Alors, à travers la, la respiration, tout d'abord. So, we will feel now how our abdomen moving with the breathing. We keep the attention inside. And we feel the breathing under our hand. Et là, en gardant notre tension sous la main, au niveau de l'ombril, nous allons nous adresser à nous-mêmes, à l'intérieur de nous-mêmes. So now we will speak silently to ourselves. Alors, nous allons dire, tout d'abord, je veux savoir ce qui est vrai Dans ce monde. Now we will speak slowly and ask with sincerity. I want to know what is real in this world. Ce qui est important. Je ne veux pas avoir de confusion. I want to know what is important for me. I don't want to be confused. Maintenant, nous allons monter la main au niveau du nombril. Now we put the hand on the stomach at the level of the navel. Et là, nous allons dire, je suis satisfait. And now we will say, with full confidence, 
I am satisfied. I feel satisfaction inside. Je ressens la paix. I feel peace inside. Nous allons monter la main droite sur le cœur, à gauche. Now we put our hand on the heart and we will listen to our heart beats for a while. Sentons les battements de notre cœur. Feel how it goes slowly. Feel how it is quiet in itself. Sentons le silence et le battement de nos cœurs, notre cœur. Et maintenant, nous allons dire, je veux ressentir de l'amour. And now we will say, with sincerity, I want to feel the love. Avec sincérité et l'amour de mes parents. The love of my parents. L'amour de mes amis. The love of my friends. Je veux ressentir tout cet amour et le donner au monde entier. I want to feel all this love. And I want to give also all this love. Je désire également que le monde entier ressent de l'amour des uns pour les autres. I want to give all this love to the whole world. I want the whole world to receive this love and to feel this relation of friendship towards everyone. Le sentiment d'amour et d'amitié entre chaque être humain dans ce monde. Between every human being in this world. Maintenant, nous allons monter la main avec l'index à la base du cou. Now we put the right hand towards the neck. Va dire à Didier. Alors, gardons toujours notre attention à l'intérieur de nous, la main droite, l'index doigt, à la base du cou. So, let's put the right hand, the right finger index at the base of the neck. Et là, nous allons dire, je veux parler <coughs> avec douceur à tout le monde. And now we can say inside with full confidence. I want to talk sweetly towards everyone. Je ne veux pas crier et dire de mauvaises choses. I don't want to scream. I don't want to say bad things. 
Maintenant, nous allons mettre la main sur notre front. Now we put our hand on the forehead. Et là, nous allons dire, je ne veux pas avoir de mauvaises pensées envers moi-même, ni envers les autres. Now we say, again with full confidence, I don't want to have angry thoughts against myself or against everyone. I forgive. Nous pouvons dire, sans penser à qui que ce soit ou à quoi que ce soit, je pardonne. I forgive those thoughts. If you think of something, just say, I forgive. Maintenant, nous allons mettre la main droite sur le sommet de la tête. Now we put the hand on the top of our head. Les doigts unis, en appuyant légèrement sans se faire du mal. Stretch your fingers, just press a little bit, gently, your head. Et là, nous allons dire, je suis uni au monde entier. And now we say, I want to feel united with the whole world. I want to feel the peace of the silence. Je désire sentir la joie du silence. La paix. Et je veux partager ce sentiment de paix avec le monde entier. I want to feel this joy of this peace. And I want this feeling to go and touch the whole world. And then come back to me. Gardons bien notre attention au-dessus de la tête. We can put back our hand on the knee and ouais. keep the attention where our hand was before.
can gently open the eyes. Nous pouvons maintenant ouvrir nos yeux maintenant. And check about the head what we feel if we feel something. Nous allons mettre la main au-dessus de la tête et sentir et voir si nous ressentons quelque chose. We can change hand and see with the other one. Nous pouvons changer de main avec la main gauche maintenant. Maybe you can feel a warm or hot or cool breeze. Donc nous pouvons te sentir soit une brise fraîche ou chaude. Et nous allons reposer la main gauche sur les genoux. If you have somebody close to you, check above his head. Voilà, on va. Yes. Donc, euh, oui. <rire> <rire> Magnifique. Et là maintenant, nous allons, nous allons maintenant écouter une musique de méditation. Ça va pas, excuse-moi. Ça va pas, ça va bien. Ça y est. Now we will listen to a um... Encore Meditation from Galina and Anton. And we will keep the attention above the head, the hand on the knees open, the eyes closed, and we will try to feel this peace inside. Maintenant, tout en écoutant une musique de méditation qui va nous être interprétée par Galina. Gardons les mains ouvertes sur les genoux et notre attention à l'intérieur de nous. Ça peut être dans les pommes de, des mains ou au-dessus de la tête, au sommet de la tête. Et jouissons de cette, la douceur de cette musique et de la paix intérieure.
Alors, nous remercions Galina et Anton pour cette belle musique de méditation et nous vous remercions également. Et nous espérons que vous avez pu apprécier cette séance de méditation. Ok, we thank you and we hope you enjoy this uh, meditation. And we thank Luc also for being with us. And now we will uh, have uh, Anton and Galina who made this wonderful uh, piece of music which was called Meditation. Anton on the saxophone and Galina on the piano. Maintenant, nous allons échanger avec Galina et Anton qui ont fait cette magnifique musique de méditation. Anton au saxophone et Galina au chant. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, very good, thank you. Very How good. do you feel now listening to your music after this meditation? Very meditative. <laughs> And also happy to be a part of your wonderful program. This is really a big honor to be with you all, wonderful people who have such a good mission. Anton dit qu'après l'écoute de cette œuvre, Suivant la méditation, ils se sont très méditatifs et Galina est très contente d'être avec nous ce soir, euh, qui présente son programme. So we we know that both of you come from Ukraine and yes. we know the situation these days and we would like to know how you can get away of this turmoil and of this fear and of this pain and uh, how you get out of this to play such a beautiful music. Nous savons que vous êtes tous les deux d'Ukraine et nous voulons savoir comment ces temps difficiles vous réussissez à dépasser cette souffrance et cette douleur. Quelle est votre astuce Comment faites-vous Use meditation and uh, we meditate together and we pray together. We do it to raise awareness and we do everything we can to to spread the word, you know, to to stop uh, the spread of disinformation whenever it's possible. But most important is, of course, is trying to clean uh, inside oneself and, and, and build this inner peace because that's where it starts. And this is what we okay. do. Okay. Nous le faisons à travers la méditation. La méditation qui nous permet de rentrer à l'intérieur de nous et de dépasser toutes ces souffrances et de pouvoir atteindre la paix intérieure. So Galina, please tell us how we can also get out of uh, tension and a feeling of sadness with music and meditation. Uh, please, if you know how to do, can you explain us how you do? Yes, it is uh, really important. Music is a wonderful tool, such a peaceful tool to fight the negativity. It's been proved many times in this horrible situations in Ukraine. Many people in the country listen to music. Those who are musicians, they go on the streets, play wherever it is possible. And really music keeps the spirit of people strong. This, wow. this is amazing. We, we never thought how powerful music can be in this way that you are talking and it, it brings peace. Uh, it, of course, it can be- We have to translate, Karina, sorry. We have to translate it. Donc la question était de savoir comment avec la musique on peut être en paix intérieure. Et Galina répondait que la musique apporte beaucoup de, de paix et qu'en ces temps difficiles, beaucoup d'artistes vont dans la rue, même en Ukraine, et avec cette paix, il, il, euh, c'est cette musique, ils apportent la paix, tout simplement. So, in this program, we also um, show diversity of cultural uh, aspects of traditions, and we see that all these colorful flowers bring us a feeling of unity. So. Uh, could you uh, let us uh, know how you feel and how you are yourself? Uh, 
that is very important to, to be open to all cultures. And uh, this is all it is about. The beautiful flowers in the garden must be different ones. And the same with music, the same with culture. When the leaders of uh, our countries or politicians will understand that all culture, those that, that who are different, are still beautiful and important, then uh, many things can be changed in this world. If I'm talking about the same. Yeah, but this is the pause. Excuse me, we had a, a short technical pro problem. Yeah. Yes. So, so unfortunately, we have to be very short now. So please answer and then we'll go to the next item. Yes. We were just saying that uh, music that comes from different countries, culture that come from different cultures, is so important to be different, but we are like flowers in the garden all different, but contributing to the whole beauty of this universe. Wonderful. Elle dit qu'avec la musique traditionnelle qui est de cultures différentes, on, on s'unit parce que même si nous venons tous d'horizons différents, nous faisons tous partie de cette magnifique planète. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. We wish you also very successful in big success in what you are doing and thank you again thank, thank you our love to everybody who, who oh, thank here. you thank you very much the, now we will oh. want to uh, uh, get uh, connected to utah and kirsten if it's possible maintenant nous allons Let's connect the Hello. 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 So nice to see you. So yeah, Utah yeah. is a musician and Kirsten is a dancer. So we would like them to introduce themselves and then after we will see their videos. Maintenant, Utah, qui est um, compositrice et, et um, professeur de piano. Et Kirsten, qui est danseuse, nous voudrions qu'elle se présente tout d'abord et ensuite nous verrons leurs œuvres. So on one side we have a compositor, piano, songwriter, singer, and on the other side we have a dancer, a teacher of dance too. So please let us know why you wanted to be in this program. Dites-nous pourquoi vous vouliez être dans ce programme aujourd'hui. Yes, we both come from Berlin. Germany, and uh, we both are, um, we like to um, go to children to teach them inner peace. We, we went in different projects and we also work with adults and with our music and our dance projects. We'd like to um, contribute to this work, special important work to bring peace to persons. Alors, elle, euh, Jutta est d'Allemagne et elle a déjà contribué à des programmes Inner Peace dans les écoles et c'est pour ça qu'elle trouvait important de participer aujourd'hui à ce projet, continuer à propager la paix. Et Kirsten, what about you? I'm, I'm very happy to show and be a part of this beautiful project and to show uh, actually dance therapy project with refugees from Ukraine, but also from other countries. And in my childhood, I learned Russian. And so I have many friends from Russia and Ukraine. And um, I'm very happy to um, do this desire, but it's a deep desire of me to create this dance therapy project in connection or collaboration with the Salon Ukraine. It's in East, East Germany, a place uh, where a lot of refugees are now. And we um, speak, uh, we, we dance together with Magical Wings. Donc, avec ce projet Magic Queens, Kirsten, uh, 
propose de la danse à des réfugiés euh, d'Ukraine. Euh, elle a appris euh, euh, le russe et du, pendant son enfance et du coup, elle, elle est familière avec la culture euh, russe et aussi ukrainienne. C'est-à-dire que elle a appris la danse en fait en Russie. Et elle a beaucoup d'amis ukrainiens et russes. Donc pour elle, euh, la, la danse réunit l'humanité, unit les gens. So dance for you unites people, and that's how you go and find peace with your dance. And while dancing with refugees, you feel you get to this feeling of peace. Yes. Yes, because dance it's a um, language of the heart. And we are dancing together, we don't need other languages. We only can feel joy and happiness and peace together. And in this project, when we are dancing together, just like, especially with this magical wings, every woman, it's especially a project for women. And when they put on these wings, they automatically feel like butterfly queens. And together we are like a big flower who is opening and can blossom together. Nice. <laughs> Donc, euh, la question était de savoir est-ce que la danse euh, réunit les gens Et euh, Kirsten y répondit en disant que oui, la danse réunit euh, les peuples. Et c'est un, un beau projet où euh, il y a cette image euh, Magic of, euh, wind, donc, euh, of Wings, de, que les femmes, c'est plutôt des femmes euh, réfugiées, portent comme des ailes euh, pour euh, danser et euh, exprimer euh, l'amour, parce qu'elle a aussi dit que la danse est euh, le langage du, du cœur. Mm. So now we would like to see your, both your videos, so, and enjoy what you have been doing. Thank you very much. Maintenant, nous allons voir vos vidéos, toutes les deux. Merci. Merci.
И солнышко тепло Моей я выше вака Я крестный работник Моей не осенен его Я сонных малый перед Thank you very much, Kirsten, with your dance of the Magic Wind. Merci so, beaucoup, Kirsten, avec votre danse des ailes magiques. Et tout de suite. And now we will have Victor Vertoni. Um, He's il, a born actor in, in London. Merci. Il est né. Euh, il est né à Londres. C'est un acteur un chanteur et un artiste euh, euh, voice-over. Il est le cofondateur de euh, TEV, le Théâtre pour les Valeurs Éternelles, qui est une organisation de, internationale de théâtre. So Victor is a singer and voice-over artist. He co-founded the Theater of Eternal Values. And this is a theater group which has been touring all over the world. So now we will have him live and we hope we can get connect to him. Hello, Victor. Hello, good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> How are you? Très bien, merci. C'est un plaisir. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so we will have... watching the whole program. It's been yeah. wonderful. Uh. Super. Yeah, they are very great artists here, and we are also very honored to have you there. And we will That's have, <laughs> yeah, we would like to ask you why you wanted to be part of this program. Well, I think a lot has been said about, you know, cultural diversity um, and the fact that we all gathered from so many different countries uh, is something very exciting to be online, to be connected. 
and to celebrate this multiplicity of, of beauty, which is the, the, the creation, the manifestation of, of, of this creation. It's a way of, of giving back, expre expressing our gratitude to the creator by being creative. And, um, and, and so... We translate, I, I please. Euh, la question était de savoir pourquoi euh, Victor voulait faire partie de ce projet. Il a dit qu'il il était euh, donc très heureux de euh, faire partie de ce projet, de se connecter euh, tous ensemble sur ce programme euh, pour transmettre euh, la musique. La créativité est une façon d'honorer euh, le créateur et par sa créativité, il participe à la diversité et au multiculturalisme et c'est pour ça qu'il a voulu se joindre à nous donc maintenant nous allons l'entendre en direct et il va nous chanter une chanson de Blake on va lui demander pourquoi il a choisi cette chanson Just one word before can you explain us why you chose this song I think because it's actually very upbeat and rhythmical and because the words uh, were written back in the 1790s uh, in a different era They are essentially folk music, and uh, Blake didn't publish the music, but he called them the songs of innocence and of experience, leaving the music out. I mean, he, he created these beautiful um, hand-printed, hand-colored books with extremely elaborate um, illustrations that integrated with the text, and he sang the songs before he wrote and published them. So he was a singer-songwriter of the era, uh, but he didn't pass on the notation, which I don't think was a coincidence. I think it was an invitation to make us uh, somehow invite us to dynamically participate in the oeuvre or the work by coming up with tunes ourselves. So awakening the creativity in everybody and certainly inspired me very much. Donc c'est une... Euh, il a choisi ce poème de William Blake car c'est un poème très rythmique qui a été... Euh, créé il y a très longtemps, en 1719. Euh, il n'a jamais été publié, mais euh, très joliment écrit, sans musique, peut-être pas par coïncidence, mais pour pouvoir laisser euh, la liberté euh, aux musiciens de composer ce qu'ils veulent. So we can say that the rhythm of the words of William Blake is music, And you can feel this music and you want it to put a tune, to be in tune with this music. So as if you were making a link in history between his era and our. So maybe right. you mean that the rhythm of the music help us to be beyond time. Exactly, exactly. Into a, a realm of, uh, how should we say, eternal time beyond past or future but in the sort of eternal presence the eternal eternal present a kind of reservoir of a collective knowledge and creativity and spirituality into which many many artists over many many different times have tapped into and been the yeah. channels for adapting that universal knowledge to communicate in the language of the time and of the period and okay. all great works survive that test of time and they remain Uh, somehow always relevant and true. There's a lot of universality in the poems of Blake, but also of Shakespeare and Kabir and many, many other poets. D'accord. La question était de savoir si uh, uh, le choix de cette œuvre était parce qu'elle était intemporelle, traversait le temps, à ce à quoi um, Victor répondait que uh, il y a, uh, c'est vrai, une intemporalité dans cette œuvre. Et euh, c'est pourquoi il l'a choisi aussi. Donc, en fait, le rythme de la musique de cette œuvre permet de faire le lien entre l'ère de William Blake et la nôtre, car en fait, le rythme de la musique, en fait, la musique est rythme. Et si cette musique est rythme, elle touche à l'universel. Donc, voilà, merci beaucoup. Et nous vous accueillons et nous vous attendons. Thank you. Thank you very Merci much. I will listen to it. Thank you. This is My Pretty Rose Tree from the Songs of Innocence by William Blake. A flower was offered to me.
such a flower as may never bore. But I said I've a pretty rose tree, and I pass the sweet flower o'er. I pass the sweet flower o'er, and I went to my pretty rose tree to tend her by day and by night. But my rose turned away with jealousy, and her thorns were my only delight. The sweet flower, o'er. and I went to my pretty rose tree to tend her by day and by night. But my rose turned away with jealousy, and her thorns were my only delight. Her thorns were my only delight. Her thorns were my only. Well, this is an introduction to, to the beauty and exuberance of the state of the peace we feel inside, which isn't passive, it's dynamic. It's a starting point for expressing uh, our joy of living and sharing it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> C'est une musique, cette œuvre est de, le début pour exprimer ce sentiment de joie. Je vous remercie yeah. Pong. Ben, voilà. Maintenant, merci beaucoup, Thor. Nous, nous allons continuer euh, et passer la main à Ada. Voilà. So now Ada and Daisy will be uh, there for you. So Ada is uh, an actress. She's a storyteller and she's a public speaking teacher. Donc, Ada et Daisy vont prendre maintenant la main. Ada est une actrice et euh, aussi une euh, présentatrice de euh, conférences. So, thank you very much. Sorry for the delay. We had a little bit of technical problems too. But that is totally fine. I mean, it was such a lovely program. Thank you so much, Anaïk and Sandra, for hosting this. And it's an honor for us to take it from here, to take it over from you. And I will be together with Daisy. So thank you, Anaïk, and thank you, Sandra. Bye-bye. 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 So maybe it's also nice, Daisy, if we hear a little bit from you. Who are you? Um, hi, everybody. My name's Daisy, and I am coming and moderating as well as performing a bit later from Toronto, Canada. So, yeah. Wonderful. And it is so nice to do this together, isn't it? Yeah, I'm very excited. Absolutely. absolutely. So tell me a little bit about what is behind you. Is that a painting or what is it? Because it looks really nice. Yeah. So this is a painting. Um, it was made by an artist called Uh, Bill Downey, who also practices our meditation. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's it's abstract and it's really interesting. I don't know too much um, about the meaning behind it, but I think it relates to meditation and the spaces between thoughts. So. Wonderful. So as you're going to lead a meditation later on in the program, it is very appropriate to have that <laughs> around you. So let's go to our first artist that we can introduce, and that is Diana of the African Nada team. She's from Africa. She's from Benin. And um, yeah, she is a composer, a singer, a dancer, and a drum teacher all the way from Benin, Africa. So welcome and let's enjoy her video. Hi everyone, my name is Diana. I am from Benin in West Africa. 
I was singing and dancing since my childhood. Those are in the video work together with me in our cultural artistic club called Africanana, a musician group to give joy and transform hearts. With Ajimo on talking drum and voice, Junior on dance, Manu, Mako and Marius on chorus and percussion. Je m'appelle Diana, je vis au Bénin, en Afrique de l'Ouest, et je suis membre du club artistique Africanana. Un regroupement de musiciens pour donner la joie et transformer les cœurs. Avec Adjimo au Talking Drum et à la voix, Junior à la danse, Manu, Mako et Marus au cœur et à la percussion. We are presenting you a dance from the traditional Yoruba rhythm calling Ogon, chicken dance. Nous allons vous présenter quelques parts de danse du rythme traditionnel Yoruba Ogon. Le grand bobo à bada que j'ai porté est utilisé à dessin pour ressortir les ailes de la poule dans sa couverture. So thank you, Diana and African Nanda team for sharing with us this amazing African rhythm and dance. It was super joyful. 
So yeah, then we move on to our next guest and next artist, who is from London, isn't he, Daisy? Um, yes, I think so. Uh, <laughs> Go on, you can do it. Yeah, uh, so now we're going to be hearing um, He's also, I think he's from England, actually. So he's an actor and he's a singer, um, very talented individual. And we're going to be hearing a little bit from him now. Exactly. He is a very talented singer and um, also an actor. And we will hear Tim's version of also a song of William Blake, Infant Joy. And orchestration is by Dimitri Orlov. <laughs> What shall I call him? I have he am. Joy is my name. Sweet joy befall thee. Richie joy. Sweet joy but who is old. Sweet joy call me. Thou dost smile. I sing the wine. Sweet joy befall thee. Thank you, Tim Bruce, with this wonderful song, Infant Joy, and also beautiful images of William Blake. Fantastic. Yeah, so we have uh, a new guest also in the house. So let's go to Finland, to Kyurili. Are you there, Kyurili? Kyurili, uh, I have to look it up. Is, is, his last name is Samatalati. If I say it correctly, and he's a Finnish musician and a singer, and he has a band called Shava, and they make amazing, interesting music. So I would love to hear more from Kyurili about his song and also the music that he makes. Is he going to be there? Until now, we don't see him, we don't hear him. Would be nice. 
<laughs> so if he's not coming, ah, my goodness, I see something coming up. Yes, Kyurili, yes. you're there. Yes. Good Fantastic. Good. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very good, very good. Ah, my good, look at your setup. That is your studio. That's my man cave here in <laughs> Your man cave, fantastic. Yeah, so I was just mentioning your, there is a bit of an echo, by the way, coming from your place. I don't know if we can do something yeah, about it. I should, uh, what should One be of, the solution? I'm not too yeah. sure. Well, it's okay. still there, but I think we can manage. It's only for a few minutes. Okay. Okay, so you have this wonderful band that is making Bangra music, which is actually a Punjabi style. So that is a region from India, but you sing and finish with that. Yeah, so yeah. you have, you make a wonderful cultural mix. Yeah, that's a kind of a totally novel cultural mix that doesn't exist anywhere else. But here we have the Finnish Bangra tradition uh, sang by, by guys who look like me. So I'm not looking that much uh, Punjabi, but um, but the, the Punjabis have uh, appreciated that a lot, ah. and um, and um, and uh, yeah, it's a unique cultural fusion of doing. So, how Punjabi. important is it to make this cultural fusion? I think it is. I think it's very important. I mean, um, nowadays we are very aware of these things of of you know representation and of. Uh, and of, of, of you know that that we are we are careful of not exploiting other cultures which is very good but mm -hmm. then again we should see the thing which unites all the cultures so i think collaborations are uh, very very important as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you it's your vision that by make uh, by uh, combining these music styles um you also get more into the collaboration with that with that culture yes and it's it's absolutely a kind of a appreciation and my oh, like uh, my gesture that i'm totally enamored by, by that culture mm. so that is my kind of tribute okay. to that culture nice nice it's a nice way of of saying it by making music by exploring the culture you appreciate it more what are you going to do for us, or what are you going to show us tonight? Which uh, music are you going to share? Yes, so I'm I'm not going to to sing Pangra or Punjabi music, but I'll I'll sing actually my own version of a of a Finnish children's song, you could say. And uh, I totally rewrote it and made it a, a totally different melody. Mm. And uh, and it's actually. In my version, it's about, it's basically about the fairy and the ray of light. Wonderful. Are you going to do this live or are you go, is it yeah. a recording? Live. Live, live, yes. Fantastic. So yeah, please take the floor with your okay. yes. version of that children's song. Yes, and maybe if you mute, then your mic probably the echo won't, uh, I don't know if it can be heard. I will do that. Over. I will okay, mute okay. myself. Thank you. Yes. Cool. Okay. So I'll be playing several instruments. I have the guitar and the accordion, and you can see the looper pedal here on the floor. And first thing we need in life is the rhythm. So that's what I'm going to do first. And this song, it sets in a beautiful evening in the forest and the fairy is facing the sunset there. So we'll create the atmosphere of the evening. And add a bit more rhythm.
And next thing we need in the forest in the evening is is the little bird singing in the trees. Sorry, there's been technical problem that some of the wires get entangled, but it's solved now. So let's listen to the beautiful birds in the trees. Illalla, keinuini tyvillalla. Päivän säde viimeinen värjä sen kasvot kullalla. Ja se kuiskas menninkäinen sinisukka, simasuinen kiharatukka. Rakastunut sinun on, lennetäänkö aurinko? Menninkäinen vastas, tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. En tee aurinkoon retkee illan, rikkumattomaan rauhaan jää. En aio peräsi itkee, tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. Loppumattoman hetken lehtien välistä siivi löytyvään valoon, illan viimeisen kajoon. Tulen ikuisesta valosta, isäni auringon talosta. Sut siellä kulta tuoliin istutan, huules valon viinillä kostutan. Ja liekehtivän kehrän takaa katselemme linnun rataa, salaisuudet kosmoksen. Kirjoitan sun sormukseen. Mut menninkäinen vastas, tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. En tee aurinkon retkee illan, rikkumattomaan rauhaan jää. En aio peräsi itkee, tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. Loppumattoman hetkeen lehtien välistä siivi löytyvään valoon, taivaan rannan paloon. Ei tarjoa vilvoittavaa varjoa. Vaikka valo antaa elämää, varjo tekee siitä syvempään. Ja kuiskatessa ilta tuulen kokea voit ikuisuuden. Kun valo varjoon rakastuu, silloin huokaa aurinko ja kuu. 
mutta se vastas tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. En tee aurinkon retkeä illan rikkumattomaan rauhaan jää. En aio peräsi itkee tähän jään, tähän jään, tähän jään. Loppumattoman hetken lehtien välistä siivi löytyvään uskomattomaan valoon. Taivan rannan palo illan viimeiseen kajoon. Thank you so much, Kyrily. That was Thank a you. really cool song. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and for your great art and music. Thank you very much. And I wish you a very good evening from Finland. Great. <laughs> Thank you. So many cool languages we have in Europe, right, Daisy? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and now it looks like we'll be um, transitioning from Finland over to Greece. So if Sunny, uh, if you're there, we'd like to introduce you now. So Sunny is a singer and her and her husband, Dimitri, he's a composer and arranger and they both live in Greece. So I think they'll be playing some music for us today. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you. We're fine. How are you? <laughs> doing good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, did you want to tell us a little bit about what you'll be performing today? Yeah, so we're going to perform a song composed by Dino. It was inspired by a poem um, written by Tagore. It's called Life of My Life. And we really love the words of the poem and the meaning. And he created the music for this song. Okay, fantastic. That sounds exciting. Well, this poem has a very, a very deep message. And uh, yeah, I think the importance of uh, this real moment protect our inner, um, inner, inner self, let's say, from all impurity, all uh, which is challenging us, to keep ourselves in pure love and joy. Wonderful. Actually, in our preparation, Daisy uh, had uh, came up with a very cool question for you, like because you're Greece and you're you're a Russian. How do, do these cultures work for you also in your marriage? But let's look first at just let's now only look at music style. <laughs> How does that work for you to combine these cultures? It was fine. From the first real moment when we just <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to say that i just wanted to add that demo writes music that um, combines different music from different cultures and that's really amazing and very enjoyable and it's wonderful when you um connect different musical cultures together things that you think would never go together like opera and indian music for example but it does go very well together and it shows that we can connect with different. Thank you so much. Let's go to the song that you have ready for us. Which has kindled the light of reason. 
Wow, that was such a powerful and inspiring performance. Thank you. Absolutely, wasn't it? Yeah, wow. I got like goosebumps. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Me too, actually. So that's cool. So now we're going from Greece. We are going back to Africa, where waiting for us is a fun, also an amazing artist. His artist's name is V Power and is um, like day-to-day -day name, so to say, is David Ichofe, if I say this correctly. And the surprise is that we don't know if he's live in the Zoom or not. So um, I'm very curious to know, but I don't think I see his name in the participants, so I don't think so. Now, it doesn't matter. We will anyway listen to his music. He is uh, from um, Nigeria. Sorry, I had to look it up. And he started when he was nine year old, years old. He was starting with music in the church as a keyboardist. But now I see somebody is coming up to the Zoom. So I don't know who that is. That would be very interesting to find that out. But let me just continue um, introducing him a little bit more. He is he has made so many songs. If you look him up on, on Facebook or YouTube, there are so many songs that he made and he's so uh, lively and enthusiast. It's really very nice to, to see his music and to listen to his songs. So um, yeah. If he's not coming in live, let's just see his video and enjoy that. Oh, 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 
Okay, so thank you so much, V Power, for that uh, also absolutely amazing performance. So next up, we are going to actually go back to France and hear a little bit from a French. He's a lot of things. He's a composer, he's an author, and an interpreter. And his name is Didi Lam. Um, he is a multi-instrumentalist, so very talented in a variety of things like accordion, keyboard, harmonica. He plays the drums and he's a singer and he's been doing all these things for over 30 years. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited to see his performance. La paix. À partager la paix, je suis heureux. La paix à partager la paix dans le monde pour le monde. The peace is to be shared. The peace, I am happy. The peace is to be shared. 
Compartilhar a paz No mundo Para o mundo La peace La paz La paz A paz The peace La paz Thank you so much, DJ from France. Always super joyful and wonderful to listen to you. So now we are going to the US, finally, I would say. <laughs> and we have a very interesting topic now for you because we will have a dialogue between two super interesting speakers. And I would like to invite to come to the virtual stage, Elena Hazina and India. Dennis, please join me here. I will already briefly introduce you a little bit. Elena Hazina, yes, I see you there. She's a big influencer on social media. And India, Dennis, is an undergraduate admission counselor who holds a BA in bio biology and is also a DJ. Amazing. So, of course, I want to intro introduce you a little bit more. So please grab the floor and say a bit more on, on who you are, ladies. Elena, shall I, can I ask you first? Hi, how are you? Hi, Ron. How are you? <laughs> can Great. you hear you? So, so you're an influencer on, on social media. What can, what can we expect from that? How, how does it look like? Okay, I'm an influencer. I am actually Italian. I am a comedian and I have 3.6 million on TikTok of followers <laughs> and 700,000 on Instagram. I'm sorry for my bad English. I will try my best. And no, the English is wonderful. It's very good. And that is so nice about today's program is that we have a mix of so many cultures and everybody speaks his own way of English. And that's very beautiful. So thank you, Elena, for that. And India, hello. Hi, how is everyone today? Again, my name is India. I am an undergraduate admission counselor. So really my goal is just to make college attainable for students if that is the next step that they'd like. Um, I'm also a DJ as well, so I balance a lot of things. I wear a lot of hats, and I'm really happy to be here today to talk to you a little bit more. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a very, inter a very important indeed to make a college accessible for all students who want to study. Now, your, to your topic that you're going to talk about uh, between you is the topic about being yourself. How important is it to be yourself? India, what is your opinion on that? So I think being yourself is really, really important um, because you should choose yourself over everything, right? Um, I think that you cannot impact people if you're not happy um, and you cannot 
be pretty much exist and connect with others if you're not being in tune with yourself and the environment that you're around. So I think that being yourself is really important because you should embrace all parts of you and let them shine out into the world. And what do you think, Elena? I totally agree with India. I think that being yourself is very important because people can like understand your authentic and what do you have inside when you show yourself? People were usually wear a mask because they don't think that they are enough. Instead, they need to show themselves because the diversity is what makes us unique. So mm -hmm. it's very important to be always yourself, to don't be afraid to show what you are. And because people are going to appreciate in that way. If we are all the same, if we are all like... Uh, the same like happy or happy it's important but if you show to them and to people that you have the same quality of another person that doesn't make you unique so it's very important to be yourself and to show your people what you are so it's why you make unique it's important yeah but i can imagine that you know as on so Social media, we do we really show ourselves the way we really are, or are we showing a version of ourselves? I think that's a really great question, um, and I think it really just depends on the person. I think me for myself, I really follow people who are truly close to me or inspire me in some way, um, and I think that having that type of following really allows me to put myself out there a lot more on social media. Um, and I do think that it's up to your approach um, and how you're approaching social media. Are you getting on social media to connect with others or are you getting on social media to present a facade that really isn't you? Um, so I do think that it's important to put all of yourself out there because again, you never know who you can connect with. You never know where it's gonna take you in life or if it's gonna present an opportunity for you. So it's always a really good way to put yourself out there in social media. Also, because there's a lot of misinformation already just with things traveling so fast. So it's nice to put the truth out there first. Mm, for sure. And, and Daisy, are you very active on social media? How is that for you? Um, yeah, I've used social media, you know, as a way to like connect with friends, um, see what other people are doing. Uh, I, I don't have 3.5 million on TikTok, but maybe one day. <laughs> um, would India and Elena, do you have any advice to like um, maybe aspiring influencers who may be struggling to be themselves online? Uh, what would you say to them? Yeah, it's a really good question because nowadays all the people just on social media influencers that pretend that they have a perfect life because we have this stereotype in our mind that all the influencer has a perfect life because they never show the real part of their life so sometimes when i was a little bit young i used to just show the beautiful part of my life. I never show the bad part, like a sad part. Instead, growing up, I understood that it's really important for people to show even a bad part, the bad side of your life, because it's important. Everybody has a problem. And my advice is don't, do not pretend that you have a perfect life because you can seriously help people to understand what is the real life. Everybody has a problem. You don't need to be perfect. It's beautiful to have a problem because thanks to that, you can grow up with your experience. So it's hard because on social media, you just saw the beautiful part, like all the influencers just uh, modify their body in order to be perfect. And I'm sorry because people, because of that, has a lot of problem about their beauty, about accept themselves for what they see every day on social media. So my advice is always to be real, always to do not modify your face because you're perfect enough. You don't need to be perfect. You're beautiful in your, if you have some things that you don't like is what makes you unique, what mm -hmm. I say before. So it's really important to always show to people your real authentic yourself and your life. Thank you so, so much, Elena. That is indeed yeah. very important to be authentic. So India, I mean, as a counselor, how, how does being yourself also mean for you 
Yeah, so being an admission counselor, I'm connecting with students all the time. Um, that's actually how <sighs> Kine- uh, Elena and I were able to connect. Um, she came to campus just trying to get some more information and we just oh. hit it off from there. So I think you're able to, in the conversations that I'm able to have with students when they're on campus and their families, um, you know, I work at my alma mater. So I work at the college that I actually went to. So I'm able really to talk about my personal experience. Um, mm-hmm. I'm very honest with students. If they have questions for me about diversity or about, you um, you know, what it's like to just have the college experience. And I'm always, you know, I'm just like, this was my experience, but this may look different for you. And that's totally okay. And Mm -hmm. I think you have to present it in a way where I feel like I am a bit more relatable because I am younger. um, And I just graduated from college a few years ago. And I think those are some of the things as a counselor that I'm able to use as a tool to help me remain myself in my work environment. Fantastic. Daisy, I'm just wondering, do you have another question for these wonderful ladies? Um, yeah, I guess uh, we could talk a little bit about how do you find, um, I know like India, you were saying that you have um, a lot of different hats that you wear as you're putting it like DJ and um, all those other things. How do you find personally like staying true to yourself and being authentic while um, doing all those different roles? That's a good thing. I think that for me, I'm very purpose driven. So I'm definitely someone that I'm like, if I put my mind to it, I'm going to do it. Um, And I think that having a lot of hats is really me being true to myself because I know that there are multiple different interests that I have and I have multiple different purposes in life. So I think that wearing a whole bunch of hats, being a, being a DJ, attributing that to my artistic side and being a master's student and pursuing biology, all of those things are really important to me and education is important to me. So those are some of my really biggest morals and my really biggest um, goals in life to impact others. So being able to contribute to those three things help me again, remain myself and keep that work inward and outward as well. Thank you, India. I mean, that's such a cool question, Daisy. Thank you. Maybe Elena, you can also re- respond to that. How does it work for you? Because, of course, you also have many hats in your TikTok. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I, I think that is really important in a personal life to do as many things as possible in order like to understand better yourself. If you have something in your mind, if you think that you will like some days to draw and to painting, you need to do it. Don't wait, do it because thanks to this, you can discover more parts of yourself. So of course, every time that you need, you do something new and different, you act in a different way for each things. Because in one, you use your creativity. In one, you use your mind. So, but it's really important to separate the things and to be yourself in each things in a different way. But just do it. Don't wait for anything. Do it. Wonderful. I think these are really wonderful remarks to end with. And I, if I, correct, I understand it well that you both say, you power girls, go for it. Do whatever you want. Try out and, and just do it. Don't wait for anything. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, India and Elena, for being with us and giving us your view on being yourself and giving that wonderful advice to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. (laughs) Thank you so much. Wow, that was really, really nice. Wasn't it, Daisy? Yeah, as as someone who's also, you know, just kind of entering university, it was really nice hearing um, some like fresh perspectives on things Mm. I didn't really thought about. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine that might also count for you, you know, to try so many things. I mean, now you're here with me trying for the first (laughs) time to host a show and you're doing really great. Oh, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Really nice. All right, let's go to the next item. And the next item is Andreas von Engelen, and uh, he presents Purnima Kirby in a certain way. But let's invite first Andreas to the show, 
and maybe he can tell us about what um, is he doing with this poem that Purnima Kirby, he, she is from the US and he is from the Netherlands, but he is a composer, he is an arranger, and he is putting a very special poem to music. And he's still in that process and hopefully he can share with us what he's doing with that. So Andreas, can we invite you to come to the show? I'm here. Ah, fantastic. So we would like to see you as well. Well, that's, that, that's you. you, you blocked me. Am I? <laughs> I have no, I have no a power of blocking you. The host has blocked. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, host. Yay, there he is. No, I have no power over you at all. You know that. <laughs> okay, so let's go to uh, the program. And um, so, Andreas, tell us, what, is, what makes this poem so special? that's uh, for my mate. Oh, um, Ada and uh, Daisy, let's listen to it. Okay, that is for sure true, but maybe we can hear from you what, what made you so inspired by this poem. The poem? Yeah, what made, what, what, why, did, why did that poem inspire you to make a, a piece of music? Because it, it, it is music. If you play it, you'll hear it. Okay, that's nice. And what does can we talk? Uh, you work in a special way. What does cultural diversity mean to you? How do you put that into your music? Um, in um, I think there, um, cultural diversity is a natural state of being, and the fact that it needs to be mentioned is uh, is troubling. Uh, it's the same with um, uh, racial things. Um, um, it, it, is, it isn't an issue, but it is. And um, so in um, um, growing up in music, um, getting, getting to know other cultures, um, gamelan, uh, didgeridoo, um, Baltic choirs, um, anything, um, uh, this, this chaka chaka, this kind of, um, oceanic um, uh, singing, um, meaning that it's, it's a kind of uh, how, how in this age um, you grow up and you learn and um, it, it, it's very rich if, if you're not um, imbibing this, learning of this, uh, sharing this, you're just holding on to something that's gone. Wow, oh, that's a very nice way of putting it. And indeed, um, there are so many cultures we live in and we get all this, it's coming th to us and through us, actually. So that's, that's amazing. That's very beautiful. Thank you so much, Andreas. And indeed, let's go to the poem and listen to the beautiful words of Purnima Kirby. Here at the gates of peace, we gather the children with upturned faces. Here where birds float and wheel, before the shining doors, we've come to sing and pray. O oh, mother of heaven, come rescue the blue pearl of the world. Come with your wing bright hosts you who wear a shawl of stars, whose weapons ring like a million bells, whose eyes are infinite, we pray to you, come and end this suffering. Here outside the gates of peace, we have heard the scream of war, seen fire rain on the troubled streets, and fear has stalked the air like a many-voiced ghost. But here, at your golden gates, doubt crumbles in the blossom air. O oh, goddess of courage, we offer petals here and pray. Come now and save your children. Cut apart 
the thunderclap, then ride in with all your powers. Here within the gates of peace, you have given refuge here where fields wave with daisies, where endless rivers flow. Our gratitude is too immense for speech. Here beneath the wind-washed leaves, we meditate and pray. O mother of worlds, with one gesture you destroy fear. With one resonant word you shatter evil to dust. With one mighty glance you douse the fires of hatred. No darkness can remain. You who wove the stars into heaven, who filled the world with lakes, made earth a garden, you whose love taught depth to the sea and stillness to the mountain, who lit at our crown the cool, bright flames, who set to playing the fountain. O oh, goddess of victory, goddess of love, thank you for your infinite gifts. Please rescue us and your light world. Write us, make us whole, melt weapons to petals, awaken our souls. Oh, make this whole planet the realm of your peace. Thank you so much for this beautiful poem, Purnima. Thank you so much, Andreas, for sharing this with us. Um, so how will you continue now? When, when can we listen to this piece of music that you're going to make on the gates of peace? It's, it's been made, it, it's been made. Um, well, first of all, this is why I asked to, to have the, the video first, um, where, on earth can you find these beautiful words? Mm. And these are not just beautiful words, they, um, they, they somehow, they are related to, to the situation in the world. It's, it's clearly a, peace, a call out for peace. And also um, it might even be something biblical, like in the, in the revelations it's described where um, there's their suffering um, that um, God gets asked to, to come to come and in, interfere. Um, but this is something even above the sense of the, this this word art, this is poetry. Um, and um, also what I said before, it's like um, uh, with these words, the melody easily comes and uh, the rest the rest is orchestration and um, and um, uh, voice voicing so um, we had hoped um, and was so kind and sorry to invite us to have it here but we are still waiting uh, for the voices um, uh, it, it, um, it's been a lot of time in the making but mm -hmm. uh, once it goes from one person in a computer to to people, everybody needs to fit in, and so uh, uh, probably in the middle of June, uh, the, the the world world premiere will be uh, will be there. It's uh, likely to take place in um, in a city in Italy, in Cabela. Wonderful! Thank you so much, and I think it's also actually nice to hear these different faces of creating a piece of music. Now we heard the words. You tell us about your process and maybe also for the next UNESCO BMW event, we can really see and listen the piece of music that Andreas van England made on these beautiful words of Pornima Kirby. So thank you very much for sharing this with us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And we will go to the next item. Who is, who is, who is joining us now? 
Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, so up next, we actually have a very talented individual. Her name is Shivangi. Uh, I think she'll be talking to us actually right now. Uh, she actually represents cultural diversity in just her own background. She's a Romanian pianist that has moved to Texas now. So uh, Shivangi, I think I see you there. If you, yeah, hello. Hello. Hey, so um, I guess you're coming to us from Texas right now? Uh, well, actually I live in California at the moment, but yes, I used to live in Texas and then I, I moved again. <laughs> yeah. Great. So I know that you're going to be playing the piano for us today. Um, I was wondering if you could talk maybe a little bit about how you show cultural diversity through your own music. Uh, well, I think music in general is, is uh, one area of study that can really represent the cultural diversity because we have music from all around the world and so many musicians that can really express their own cultural background and kind of their personality through this art. And um, I mean, cultural diversity is a way of integration uh, of people regardless of their education and background and is able to bring all of like these beautiful qualities that everyone has and express them through art. Yeah, for sure. I know that you um, play lots of like different genres. So I think the piece you're playing today is classical, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Do you want to talk maybe a little bit more about the different genres you play? Uh, yes. So um, I, I started my uh, music education with classic, Western classical music. Um, and yeah, later on, I, I started getting into like Indian music and like exploring other cultures as well. Uh, the piece that uh, will be presented today is by a Romanian composer, which him as well um, was quite diverse culturally, I would say. So he's a uh, George Enescu, which was born in Romania, but he has lived in, um, he, he studied in Austria, then lived in uh, France, and then also worked in the US. So he was like everywhere <laughs> around the world. And uh, you can really see all these influences in the piece that he wrote, like how he managed to take the different tunes from different cultures and integrate them into one piece. Yeah, I'm looking really forward to hearing it. So we can hear that now.
So beautiful. Thank you so much for this amazing song, dear Sirangi. <laughs> yeah, so now we move on to our next guests, and they are two amazing boys, born and bred from the US, North America, Northwest of America, I should say, but from Indian origin. And they're performing for us great classical Indian music. I mean, they studied themselves. One of them, Nirmal, is playing the bamboo flute, Indian Bansuri, and the other one, Rishi, is also a multi-instrumentalist. And they're performing for us, yeah, great Indian style music. And that is immediately the East part of, yeah, our cultural diversity. We can say the Indian part. And then afterwards, we have a boy who plays very nice classical Western music on the piano again. So that's a beautiful bridge between East and West. But Daisy, maybe you can say a bit more about these boys because you actually know them personally, right? Right, yeah, I've been really lucky. I've been able to work with um, Nirmal and actually Shivangi, who we just heard. We've done a few musical projects together um, but yeah, Nirmal's been fantastic to work with. He's an amazing musician. Uh, Rishi is also an amazing musician. I know that they are self-taught, which is incredible to me. <laughs> and I think that they also have um, like Persian influences in their music. Right. I know that Nirmal... Um, Oops, we have along with free. the Bansuri, interesting. And... Hmm. Rishi can also sing and play a few other instruments. So wow. very talented. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, unfortunately, they cannot be with us, but we are really happy that we have their video, which we are going to see right now. Okay, that was very beautiful indeed. I thought we could get more because it's so beautiful. I could listen for that to that for for a longer time. But luckily, you will also perform some 
flute for us later on, Daisy, because you're also a musician and that is really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very lucky to be with you in this show because you have so talented. Oh, thank you really so nice. much. <laughs> okay, let's go to Maxime Agarwal. Maxime is uh, a boy, he's 13, I believe. My goodness me, really young. And he plays the piano uh, almost as a professional already because he studied since he was five years old, I believe. And he's, um, yeah, he loves Mozart the best, right? Yeah, um, I think he really enjoys Mozart. Uh, and I think he's even aspiring to create a YouTube channel if he hasn't already. <laughs> um, and like you said earlier, this is kind of going to be that cultural diversity as we're bridging the East from what we just heard to the, the West with the piano. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so maybe he becomes also an influencer, just like <laughs> <laughs> just like it is. Not, I guess so. He has the advice now to put him on the right path. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's true. Okay, let's enjoy the music of Maxim Agarwal. Thank you, Maxime. That was really super cool. Wow, a maestro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wonderful. So now we came to, again, actually, I feel the need for meditation. And uh, it would be great to have another meditation session. Um, and that is something that you're going to lead for us, Daisy, isn't it? Yes. It's really nice. So, um... Yeah, now we're going to be doing a five minute meditation session. So everyone, you can get comfortable in your seat, you know, take off your shoes or your glasses if you're wearing any. And yeah, I'll just play some music here. So how we can start this meditation is by taking both our hands like this and placing them with the palms facing to the ceiling on our lap. And what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes. And if you feel any tension in your body, you can let the tension go. Let any stress from the week go. Breathe it all out. So during this meditation, we're going to be saying some different affirmations within ourselves. 
to connect ourselves with our pure spirit, which is inside of us in our heart. So we're gonna keep our left hand up like this and we're going to take our right hand and with our right hand, we are going to put it over our heart on our left side. And during this meditation, we're going to talk to our inner energy, the energy that lies within us. And we're going to ask this energy, inner energy, am I the spirit? And really ask this question, inner energy, am I the spirit? Now we're going to take our right hand and we're going to put it on our lower stomach, which is just below our rib cage, a few inches. And now we are going to ask our inner energy for something. We're going to ask our inner energy to please give us the pure knowledge. me the pure knowledge. You can ask this a few more times. Please give me the pure knowledge. And now with this pure knowledge, we're going to put our right hand back over our heart. And this time, with full confidence, really mean this when you say it. We're going to say, inner energy, I am the pure spirit. I am not this mind. I am not this body. I am not these thoughts or emotions, but I am the pure spirit. And now, as we know we are the spirit, we can travel to the top of our head where we are going to place our palm face down and rotate the scalp clockwise like this, pressing hard. And here with our pure desire and with this knowledge, we are going to ask our inner energy for one more thing. And that is, inner energy, please give me my self-realization. Please allow me to be connected to you. You can ask this a few times. Inner energy, please give me my self-realization. Pressing hard and moving it hard clockwise. like this. And now you're going to take your right hand and put it a few inches above the top of your head. And see if you can feel a cool or a warm breeze coming out the top of your head. You can move your hand around. Now you can do the same with your other hand. And put both palms face up on your lap. And now we are going to sit and enjoy the silence for about a minute. And see if during this minute, if you are thinking, try to hear the music above the top of your head and let your thoughts go there.
open our eyes now. And place our hands like this over our chest, thanking the energy for what it has given us. Thank you so much, dear Daisy. That was such a beautiful meditation session. Really cool. And uh, maybe to accompany this and stay a little bit more in the meditation mood, maybe you can also perform for us some flute because I hear you're also playing the flute. Yes. So what do, do you want to play for us? Um, so today I have a video recording for you um, and it's by a composer called Divine. Um, and yeah, what, what I've put together in this video, I made it during the COVID time when you couldn't get together with the other musicians. So it's actually a duet for two flutes, but I recorded both parts. So it's a duet with myself. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a fun piece. Nice. Do I like look at the camera or not? <laughs> Always got to include those bloopers at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's most fun, right? Isn't it? Right. That's really nice. But you're so good, Daisy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Did you go to the conservatory? I do actually, yes. Um, I recently just completed my uh, level 10 at the Royal Conservatory of Music. Uh, for wow. those 
who aren't familiar, it's a system where you essentially do like different grades and, um, you know, get your diploma. So that's what I'm working on right now, the ARCT, which is the um, final stage of that the performance diploma. Wow, that's cool to hear. And please continue with okay. making beautiful duets <laughs> with <laughs> yourself and maybe now also with other artists. Now it is again possible. So that's really beautiful. Very nice. Thank you so much for that. So actually now we want to invite a very special guest and we are not sure if she's already in the Zoom house and she's called Desira Cardinal and she is from the indigenous uh, group society so to say because we find it very important to also include uh, all um, nationalities especially from the US as this last hour was a special hour for US based and uh, related artists so we would be very happy if she's there um, because she's also very much empowering the women by adorning beauty of women um, so let's see how this works out. I don't think it is going to work out, but I was asked to at least announce her. And um, yeah, if this is not happening, then um, I think we will move on. And that means that Daisy and I will say goodbye to all the viewers and thank you so much that we could be there. Thank you so much to also the tech team, Anil and Somia, for this beautiful work that you have done. And then we want to announce now the closing words of Stephen Machicelli. And I see that you're all there, already there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Stephen, thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, the closing words are for you. Yeah, it's a little bit premature because we do have some others after, after. but I would, would like to share some closing remarks regardless. Uh, and I want to thank everyone so far who's been a part of this great program, such talented performers and speakers, so insightful and messaging. And uh, I'm glad to be a part of this and glad to be able to offer some closing remarks. So I would like to say that we are all part of mother nature and thus part of each other. In this global world of fast paced communications and interactions, it has become obvious that a shock in one part of the world affects all parts of the world. We're not alone. And COVID-19 has shown us this very clearly. Our strength is in each other as a global community of diversity and talents and cultural experiences. Stress on one part of the web of life affects all the rest of the web to the point that the whole web can break down. We may have different religions, different languages, different colored skin, but we all belong to one race the human race, as brothers and sisters. I would like to conclude with a quote from Sun Bear, the Chippewa. He said, I do not think the measure of a civilization is how tall its buildings of concrete are, but rather how well its people have learned to relate to their environment and their fellow man. Now, I would like to also conclude with a wonderful video by Alan and Jake Wary. And of course, we will have some other entertainment afterwards. And also I'd like to just remind everyone to Visit us on our website, unescobmw.org, for more information 
and exciting upcoming programs. So let's take it to Alan and Jake Wary. They have a nice video to offer us. Thank you. Mike Coyote Roman from Ellen and Jake Wary. What a great song about New York, New York waking up. So we almost reached the end of today's program. And um, yeah, we do come back Daisy as we have a bit of a shift in the program, which is totally fine. And um, we're still welcoming our special guest. Daisy Ra Cardinal. And Daisy, I, I want to uh, actually ask you to say a bit more because you are from Canada and uh, maybe you can say a bit more about indigenous people, indigenous people. For me, it's a, a new word that I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, it's not a new word. So tell us about what does it mean? 
Yeah, of course. So um, like Desira, uh, I'm also from Canada, but we are on two opposite ends of the country. So she's from Vancouver, uh, BC, and is from the Cree Nation, whereas I'm in Toronto, which is on the East End. So um, she is a beater, a braider, and a painter who expresses her culture through art. And as you were mentioning earlier, she also empowers other women by celebrating, you know, their beauty through these different art mediums. Um, I think a real inspiration in her life that she can touch more on when, when she comes is her grandmother, whose name is Pauline Johnson. And mm -hmm. she has passed down um, this culture to her through the traditional songs, the art. And I am assuming that she's really happy to share her culture with us. And I'm really excited to see it as well. Yeah, we, we talked uh, earlier today. I want to say this afternoon, but it's still afternoon for you. For, so for you, it was morning. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you were explaining to me a bit about how that works, you know, because we, we saw in the announcements that Desira is from the Cree nation. And then you were explaining me that there are different uh, indigenous tribes all over Canada. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, so I have pretty limited knowledge as I'm not, you know, indigenous or have ancestry, but um, I do know a little bit about it. There's different, you know, groups. So Cree is one of them. There's the Ojibwe, Anishinaabe, um, Desira can, you know, correct whatever information when she comes. Um, yeah, and there's just different groups that are throughout Canada. And I've been fortunate enough, I've been able to you know, had different guest speakers come into school and university and share some of the traditional art and culture. So um, okay. I've been a part of the smudging process, which was really interesting to be a part of. What is the smudging pro pro process of? Uh... Yeah, so you take the four holy herbs on the medicine wheel and mm. you have them in like a little kind of like bucket thing and it's on fire and you inhale the smoke. So okay, kind of cool. similar to our meditation, um, you smudge with it and it's just supposed to like cleanse your, your body and your brain and wow. you think about life. <laughs> so you did all that. So thank you for sharing that with us, Daisy. That is already a little bit of insight that you gave us in the Canadian way of how it works with indigenous people. Unfortunately, we just heard that she will not make it this time with us. So hopefully she can join us next time. And in the meanwhile, I think we had a beautiful program on a cultural diversity. We saw so many artists and speakers from different parts of the world. And we wish to continue our work as well as UNESCO BMW. So please join, go to our website and uh, we hope that we see you again next time. Daisy, it was great to do this with you. And I <laughs> hope we will do it again next time together. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Thank you so um, much for inviting me. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for inviting us, dear UNESCO BMW. We're very grateful to you. And uh, we wish everybody a very good night and a very good rest of the day. And see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.